Welcome back to the Tell Me Shorts, and once again, I'm speaking to you from New York City, New York, this week. And I've spent a really interesting day today here on Sunday, um, and, and, and having a number of conversations with people, once again, dealing with their emotions, their sentiments, their feelings, um, their circumstances. And as a consequence, the question then becomes, is God faithful? And I want to talk to you about our faithful father. Is God faithful? Yes, he is faithful. The problem is that we're trying to perceive God through our five senses, which have already been corrupted by our own humanity and our sinful nature. And that's what I was attempting to communicate today. And I have to remind people of what the Bible says. The Bible says in 2 Timothy in chapter 2. 2 Timothy chapter 2. It says starting in verse 11. 11, 12, and 13. Listen to these words very carefully. It is a trustworthy statement. Okay? If we die with him, we will also live with him. If we endure... We will also reign with him. If we deny him, he will also deny us. Now listen to verse 13 very carefully. If we are faithless, he remains faithful, for he cannot deny himself. Did you hear that last verse? If we are faithless, if you and I, we are faithless. Now, I'm addressing, and I want to make sure I'm, I'm as clear as possible here. I'm addressing believers. Those who tell me that they are believers, but they find themselves in a struggle. And the struggle has to do with their sentiments. It has to do with their feelings. It has to do with their circumstances. It has to, it has to do with this feeling that I do not measure up. He says in verse 13, if we are faithful, now who is the we? We are the believers. He says, he remains faithful for he cannot deny himself. Now let's be honest. All of us experience times when our circumstances seem unbearable. Right? Uh, our prayers appear to be unanswered and the Lord feels vague distant. All of us feel that at times. Okay? When that happens, we may in fact wonder if he is the same as we once believed him to be. Now notice I'm saying we. During such times of uh, helplessness, you know what's going to happen? Our faith falters for some people and yet it grows stronger for others. So here's the question. What causes these opposite responses to suffering? What causes these opposite responses to suffering? See, for some of us, uh, we, we grow distant, indifferent, cold, and we feel helpless. And for others, in those moments of trials and tribulations and adversity and suffering, we grow stronger in our faith. So what is it that causes the opposite responses to suffering? Now here's the thing. The key is simply one's understanding of and trust in God's faithfulness. Did you hear what I just said? What is your understanding of trust, of God's faithfulness. That's the key. It's simply one's understanding of and trust in God's faithfulness. That's the key. This term means that the Lord never changes. God's faithfulness. You remember, you remember what it said in verse 13? 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 13. 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 13, he says, If we are faithless, he is faithful, for he cannot deny himself. Now, I want you to think about that for a moment here, because I want to just, it's almost like I want to, um, 
beat a dead horse here. I just want to repeat this. And you, I'm going to, I want to attempt to just pound this into our heart, our mind, into the deepest recesses of our soul. That God's faithfulness does not depend upon you, upon me, upon humanity. God is faithful to himself. And whatever he has promised, he will fulfill. It does not depend upon your faithfulness or my faithfulness. It clearly does not depend upon your feelings or my feelings. It clearly doesn't depend upon your thoughts or my thoughts. It clearly doesn't depend upon your circumstances or my circumstances. It depends on him being faithful to himself. Again, verse 13, he said, If we are faithless, he is faithful, for he cannot deny himself. And this is the kind of conversation I was having today with people who told me they were in a struggle to believe, is he faithful? Look, he always does what is right. He always remains true to his promises. And he is, let me say this, he is 100% reliable. In other words, we can trust our almighty God regardless, regardless of our situation or even our own attitude. That's the point that I want to drive to you. That's what I want to get at to you. Listen, our understanding of God relates to this concept. Here's the question. Do we trust him? Do we trust him enough to obey? Do we trust God enough to obey? Even, listen to me carefully, even when obedience seems foolish. And I've been called a fool plenty of times. Listen, are we so confident he hears and he answers prayers that we consistently bring requests before his throne, even we don't, even when we don't see an immediate response. See, I'm, I'm trying to pose these questions because I really want to provoke. What is it that you really believe? I, I, I want you to define what is it that you really, truly believe? Are we daily sacrificing our selfish desires? Are we daily sacrificing our patterns of living, okay, because we believe in his promise? Um, let me see. Do we believe in his promise of eternity? Uh, do we believe in his promise of joy? Do we believe in his promise of peace? Do we? I mean, do we actually believe it in such a way that our life, our lifestyle actually reflects that? Because if the answer is no, if the answer is no, that may indicate a deficient understanding of God's character. You have called God's character into question, and you may not even realize that's exactly what you have done. That's why. Reading the Word of God on a daily basis, reading the Bible is so important. You know why? Because it's through Scripture, countless of illustrations of our Father's attributes, all of His attributes, just jumps out of those pages, okay? And we learn who He is, and then as a result, we increasingly, increasingly trust in Him. Thankfully. God's faithfulness, listen to me carefully, thankfully, God's faithfulness does not depend. It does not depend on our circumstances, it does not depend on our feelings, and it does not depend on our own faithfulness. Did you hear what I said? He is true to his word. Why? Because he is true to himself. So now here's my question. How would your life look different if you had a complete confidence that God 
was trustworthy and he was unchanging.